people. This is unnecessarily optimistic here. I am here to show you some designs that I like to use when designing my spaceships. Let's get started. I have some designs that I have preset that are designed to help teach you about how to quickly regenerate your ship, be it for thrusters sake, armor's sake, or for just quickly establishing a lot of guns. I will also show you some of the things that I use when I plan out thrusters, as well as some of the things that I use for just cheeky little things here and there. Alright, as you can see, I already have something here that is using some very big, high respawn time guns. Let's see how quickly it loads in. As you can tell, we are relying on two guns that are quickly, well, not quickly, but very slowly respawning in for other guns, etc., to be able to spawn in. You have a generator going in there, other guns applying right here, and then we'll have to wait for these finish, for the guns beyond them to start. And as you can tell, it's taking a bit of a while for them to all get established. Now, if I switch back to this, and wait for these to despawn, let's then switch on to the other method. This utilizes what I would like to call a spine. It uses many different rods of very fast regenerating nature to establish as many connection points as possible for many parts to be able to spawn in at once. And as you can tell, it is already very much so established as a ship. And it is, well, for the most part, done. A major difference. This also aids in the survivability. What I have here is sometimes some parts wait on other parts before they spawn in something further down along the line. Like, for example, before this can start to generate, it will have to rely on this regenerating these first at times. So, that is why I have it three thick, so that this rod can quickly establish itself, and then these can be established upon the rod. It's really good for if you get in a nasty fight, and you really want to quickly regenerate lost parts. Something else I would like to focus on, thruster stacking. It can be a bit of a pain when you have to worry about thrusters, relying on other thrusters, relying on other thrusters. And as you can tell, by the regrowth time, you have to wait 2.8 seconds for another thruster to have its connection point established. Which means that to instate all of these, we're talking 28 seconds for the entire rod, which is, well, let's just load it up and see how slow it takes. As you can tell, we've just finished the first one, but we still have to wait for the others to come in. As you can tell, this is a bit of a slow process, and let's not wait the entire thing out. And again, wait for the parts to despawn. Now, let us work on regenerative thrustering. Similar to having a spine, this one is a technique that I almost always use. For if you lose some of your thrusters, you very quickly regenerate them all. This thing has the exact same amount of thrusters, as you can tell by the point values, as that one. However, as you can tell, it did not take 28 seconds to spawn in. A major difference. It didn't even take 10 seconds to spawn in fully, I do believe the AI utilizing ships for its creations. Hmm. Ah, no matter. One of the other things that I would like to talk about, thrusters. As you can tell, I am able to pivot. This is because I have as many going forward and backward that are capable of turning. And on bigger ships, you may need to space these out a bit further from your core because of... Well, if it's too close to the core and you have a very large ship, the game doesn't think it'll change much of anything when it comes to turning, and it will just devalidate them for turning capability when they're facing forward and backward. Another important thing about being able to pivot. If you face plan into an asteroid, and you have a very forthgoing turn, as in you have lots of thrusters pointing forward and very few pointing backward, or thrusters pointing backward are rather weak compared to strong forward-going ones, you will have problems. As often, you will force yourself and smash yourself into the asteroid, sometimes uh, 
until you have to respawn, which is rather unfortunate. I've been in that situation multiple times, and it is a pain. So I recommend that you focus on learning how to pivot. Another thing I would like to focus on is thruster efficiency. This thing, no matter what you are doing, will be using 50% of its thrusters at all times, which means less dead weight. It may not be able to strafe, but it is easily capable of pivoting and accelerating and reversing at great speeds for better maneuverability, something I highly recommend. Another fun little gimmick that I really enjoy, the escape pod. Oh, that is so much fun. This thing is a unique, bizarre tactic that I have developed to where these thrusters are so close range that if they destroy, are destroyed, they detonate and destroy other generators around them, causing all the loose blocks connecting the core to the rest of the ship to separate. Which is really good if you have a very deep penetrating bunch of blows that have actually penetrated the armor. It acts as a last ditch defense mechanism. Allow me to see if I can demonstrate. Don't mind the plan. Alright. Let's keep smashing into the asteroid here. Could eventually break. There we go. As you can tell, I am easily capable of maneuvering and getting to some form of safety if there were any danger. Which is very important if you find yourself in a situation that you cannot handle. Also, another thing that I would love to talk about, burst lasers. One of my favorites and probably a very underestimated Terran weapon. I have this pre-designed ship here, let me switch to it. If I would quit smashing into the parts that are still lingering. Thank you. Okay. As soon as this is finally finished regenerating, which, due to ship design, it generated very quickly, we have all these wondrous burst lasers that are set to auto-target. This is very good if you have all kinds of red that you need to deal with, just invading your territory, or flies. Some people tend to have problems with flies, I've noticed, so this definitely helps with that. And better yet, you can set them to point defense. <laughs> Just double click them, drag them over, good to go. This easily takes out missiles with ease. Even some of the more healthy, sturdy missiles. And if we can just head over here towards an elemental area. This thing is easily capable of dealing with small fighters and smaller ships in general is definitely a bonus if you're fighting lots of red because they have lots of these little brawlers and I do believe the Tempest it's called. Yes. Let's go over and pay them a visit. There we go. As you can see, it is easily capable of handling plenty of ships. With oh. And has enough DPS to where if you attack even some of the more sturdy ships from the right angle, you should be able to deal with them swiftly. Attacking. There we go. This is pretty much a great way to clear out any unwanted small ships, which potentially could gather resources, change to bigger ships, gather more resources, and then transform into stations for the enemy. Ultimately, I just love all these little design tactics. Oh. And another thing that I didn't quite cover yet, spaced armor. It is good for if you don't want to add much mass to your ship and still want to maintain a very light frame, but you would much rather avoid dying so easily to area of effect like uh, I do believe those blasters would be. This is really good also if you have some missiles coming at you, because instead of taking out a good portion of your ship, it'll take out a good portion of the spaced armor instead. Also, and to uh, reiterate the regenerative topic that I like to focus on, let's see how quickly this spawns in. I utilize multiple different things. Regenerative thrustering and regenerative armor, along with some extra spines for cannon support. All right. It's quick grasp of the nearby parts, notwithstanding. It is very quick on generating new parts. I love it. Especially the armor. Which is 
is also very important because often you'll have it blown clean off, and that armor is quite necessary. As you can tell, a rather larger ship is capable of spawning in with multiple slow respawning cannons, mini generators, and lots of thrusters all ready to go within moments, which is very good if you want to stay on the move and get things done rather quickly. And with that, I do believe I have covered all the things I want to cover. So, I wish you well.